and about Manitou cliff dwellings. It's um, oh, let me turn this off. Can't really see. See the Manitou cliff dwellings here at 38104? Mm hmm. Everybody knows about that, you know, in Colorado and all that. What they don't know is if you go north from Manitou up this way and up here, it takes you to the Montana Megaliths, to the Sage Peak, and, and to the whole sleeping giant Montana Megaliths. The Montana Megaliths, and I was trying to tell those crazy white guys that don't believe me, that this Chinook Trade Center is connected, and, there, and I can prove it now because Manitou is down here in the southwest, is right going right to Sage Mountain. <laughs> And also the Sleeping Giant, which is at 45 degrees latitude in Montana. So I can prove that Montana Megalith is not natural. It's man-made because it, it is the trade center no different than the one in Manitou. These two are major trade centers, basically. The Manitou the, and the Montana Megalith are much the same just for their area, major trade centers for their area. From the Manitou area, it goes to Puye, to Mount Taylor, to Point of Pines, to Tucson, to Babakiri. There's the Eatoy connection here to Mount Taylor. And then to uh, Angel de la Guarda, which is the Isle of the Angel, which is out there uh, in the Baja, California, Colorado, uh, the mouth of the Colorado area, which was the the route to get it down into Mexico from down that way. So this route is, you know, going through what we're familiar with up to even Mount Taylor, which is right next door. But from Manitou over going the other way from this Montana Megalith and down to Manitou and you keep going this other direction, it takes you toward Texas to a place called Palo Dury Canyon, Texas. 15,000 BCE. It's at 34101, which is right there, and it's in Texas, and it's been a trade point for approximately that long. At that time, I was all excited. I said, Duro Canyon, Texas, this is cool, 15,000 years old. Now I was getting ancient, and I was all excited. So I went down a little further, and I went, blah, 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 and I went, huh, what is this? And I went, 3297. Uh, uh, 3297, right there, in that little dot. 3297, it's between these two right here, exactly right there. What's that 3297? A place called Glen Rose, Texas. So I went, Glen Rose, Texas. What's that Glen Rose, Texas? Maybe I'll Google and search and see what's around there. The Dinosaur Valley State Park. Wow, I said, that sounds a lot older than 15,000 years old. What else could be over at Dinosaur Valley State Park at Glen Rose? Well, I um, got a hold of some friends, and a friend sent me something from Glen Rose, Texas, that how shows me how old this location really is. And what he sent me from Glen Rose, Texas, is that right there. A dinosaur footprint with a human footprint that's located at Glen Rose, Texas, at the Dinosaur Valley State Park. That right there proves how old this ancient global trade system is. If it's going to Glen Rose, Texas, and there's a dinosaur footprint with a human footprint, uh, and it's in stone, I don't know if you can deny this anymore. This is way beyond 26,000 years in White Sands. This is way beyond 15,000 years over here. This is way beyond all the dates I'm finding here. There's only one place that might be as old as maybe this location, the Montana Megalith. Can you talk a little bit about the Montana Megalith? Well, the Montana Megalith Oh, heaven forbid, and this is where it gets into cultural appropriation. 
I was trying to get involved with it, and I got a hold of this lady named Julie Ryder, and she claims to be the discoverer of, of what I just showed you on my chart that's probably thousands of years old. Just how bad white people are. This lady would claim to be the discoverer of these Montana megaliths, even though I just showed you it's on my charts. And it's part of my culture and my tradition for thousands and thousands of years. Um, because she claims to be the discoverer and all and that, um, I had no say in anything what was going on there, and she acted like she owned the fucking place. Excuse my French. Kind of pisses me off. Because uh, white guys discover something, they own it, and then us native people, we have to just live with it, you know, and just, you know, kiss it off. It's getting kind of old. And then uh, I discovered it, you know, and, and so I have a say in everything that's going on with it, and you have nothing to do with it. And I said, heck, I have nothing to do with it. My ancestors built that place thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And I know it, and I can prove it. I can prove it with that footprint, how old it is. It's getting old when white people start owning our culture. And it's getting old when they don't believe us because when we have proof in numbers, in latitudes, in longitudes, it's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous that it's, okay, I'll just say it. It's getting to the point where it's ridiculous like it's the whole world's up to its eyeballs in this river in Egypt called denial. There, I said it. Okay, pass over. <laughs>